Now, joining me in the studio, Jai Martinkovic is the Executive Director of Australians for Constitutional Monarchy. He's come in to discuss the Royal Tour with me here this afternoon. And Jai, you were just watching that feed of the Royal Couple arriving there in Longreach. Can you just explain the background to this, this particular Royal Tour? Of course. Well, this is uh, Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee Year, which is a significant occasion. Um, of course, this is 60 years of impeccable service um, and in what we would consider to be, and I believe most Australians consider, to be an indispensable office. We, so, have, we have seen royals out here quite a, quite a lot in the last uh, recent years, about three visits in, in a fairly, in as absolutely. many years. Yes, we have. We saw firstly uh, Prince William here, uh, then the Queen herself was here recently, and of course this is uh, for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. But I think that um, we will see an increasing uh, presence of... Uh, of, of members of the royal family, uh, particularly uh, Charles and also the, the boys uh, William and Harry, as the Queen delegates uh, some of those responsibilities that she would have in previous tours handled herself. And I think that's befitting uh, for a lady perhaps of her age. OK, so you're anticipating that uh, we'll see more visits like this by various members of the, of the, the, the larger royal household? The media has been... Uh, making comments um, on several of the, the previous visits of the Queen that, well, this will be her last visit. I don't think that we could assume that. I certainly wouldn't be putting my money on it. Um, but I do think that, uh, although we may see her here again, certainly the other members of the royal family will handle those responsibilities more and more. Oh, I think the Prince of Wales and the, and the Duchess of Cornwall, Charles and Camilla, as they're, as they're better known to uh, a lot of Australians, I think they'll be taking in about uh, five states in, in six days. Do brief visits like this give Australians an, an adequate opportunity to, to see and, and, and size up their future king and queen? Certainly it gives them an opportunity to come out and see uh, the future king. Um, as to whether it gives them an opportunity to connect on a personal level, I think the royals have a unique ability to, to be able to spread themselves um, in, in such a way that people have a, an opportunity. And many people comment that when they do have the opportunity to meet uh, the, the, you know, the queen or, or some other member, that for that particular moment in time it's as, almost as if you know they're the only person that has their attention it's not a superficial uh, you know time it, it, it is something where I think they do connect now it does sound like we're going to see a fair bit of uh, color coming from uh, Longreach uh, today while the, the tour is is underway the the cup royal couple are only just arriving there as we just uh, saw uh, but it's very different to what we saw with perhaps uh, here the Prince of Wales's uh, son William, and when, when he was here with his wife, there, there is a lot more excitement for the younger royals. I think that's a true observation. Uh, I don't think that Charles enjoys the same popularity uh, that his, his sons do enjoy. Um, of course, there is a clear line of succession and Charles is the next to succeed to the throne. Uh, but what I do think is that Australians, as they become increasingly aware of the wonderful things that uh, Prince Charles does, um, I mean, just to give you one example, he raises over a quarter of a billion, not million, billion dollars annually for charity. Um, and some of these uh, other, other causes like environmentalism, heritage, uh, he really pioneered these well and truly before they were fashionable issues. So he does do a lot of uh, good work and as Australians become increasingly aware of that I think his popularity will grow. But how relevant is he to younger Australians for, uh, for example? And can I follow that, that up with another question, how relevant does he need to be? Well, the primary thing which I think is first and foremost is our system of government, which uh, is inarguably um, an effective system. Uh, whether people want to try and change that to improve it, uh, that, that's certainly their democratic right. But whilst we have the system we have, the Crown is an integral part of that system, and as the, the uh, monarch uh, in, in waiting, as, as, as you could put it, uh, he's very relevant. And I think that uh, particularly uh, to, to uh, where, where we look and we see opinion polls, the strongest support for the monarchy can be found amongst, firstly, well, well as you would expect with the elderly, but increasingly uh, the case and certainly a substantial number of young people. So yes, I do think uh, young people are interested to see their future king. It's during visits like this that uh, it's one of the rare occasions when we actually have a discussion about uh, Australia's constitutional arrangements and, and, and the discussion about uh, a, a republic versus a constitutional monarchy gets raised again. How, how helpful is it for you uh, and the cause of, of Australians for a constitutional monarchy to have visits like, like this? 
it certainly helps. Uh, I don't think it's by any means uh, something we're reliant upon. Our arguments have always been uh, constitutional and not, not the celebrity aspects, um, but, but that certainly helps. Uh, I do think that, um, uh, although that, that is a minor part, uh, the system is the, the primary concern. OK, now no doubt you'll be following this visit quite closely in the days ahead. Can you tell us what you think the highlights will be? Well, th th there's a very uh, s finely spread itinerary. As you say, they're covering a lot in um, a short period of time. So um, I think that the, the most important things will be where they haven't been to some of the other states uh, on recent visits. Um, and uh, to, to have a presence in those states, I think, will be um, some of the highlights because people haven't had a chance to turn out and see uh, members of the royal family um, in, in all of the places that they are visiting. OK. Jai Martikovic, thank you very much for, for coming in and uh, My pleasure. chatting to us about, about that uh, royal visit today. My pleasure.